All righty, welcome to the show. Let us meet our panel. He is a law professor, Nixon speechwriter, and game show host. <laughs> From Win Ben Stein's Money, Ben Stein is here. Ben Stein, how are you? She is a Pulitzer Prize winning historian, and her new book is Wait Till Next Year, a memoir. Doris Kearns Goodwin. Hello, young lady. Great pleasure to meet you. She starred on Baywatch and just completed Hawaii's Ironman triathlon in real life. Alexandra Paul. Yeah. Hello, beautiful. Good to see you again. Thank you for coming. And star of stage, screen, and Rocky Horror Picture Show. His new series is over the top right here on ABC. Tim Curry. Now, the big story, as I mentioned uh, in the monologue, is China. And as we speak, the two remaining leaders of the superpowers are meeting in Washington. Uh, one is representing China. The other is uh, Zheng Jimin. I'm kidding, of course, because <laughs> <laughs> Bill, Clinton <laughs> Bill Clinton represents many Asian countries. But um, China is mostly criticized for their human rights policies. But... One thing they have done consistently over the last 20 years is limit population control. Very strictly, since the late 70s, as you know, uh, it has been the law in China, an enforced law, you can only have one child. And the same people who complain about human rights problems are, this, are the ones who say, well, the planet is running out of resources, and it is. That's and not true. I mean, that, that's, that's just a it's myth. It's not true the planet yeah, is running yeah, out yeah, of resources? That's not true. I mean, it's been, it's been being said for hundreds of years that we're about to run out of resources. More keep being discovered. There's now a greater supply of oil than there was thought to be 30, 40, 50 years ago. What about right? air? No, there's no, there's no, are, are you kidding? Do you really think? I'm not kidding. There's really a hole there in the ozone. A, that is you ridiculous. Really, I can't believe you're you saying really, that there's I not can't. enough resources. Wait a second. Do you really do you think, think there is a scientific consensus that we're running out of air, Bill? No, well, clean air. Clean, clean air. air. Yeah, right. We're running out of clean air. Well, that, well, that, that, well, that is, a, I, I agree that that is the Hollywood politically correct vision. The but Hollywood fact, vision. But in fact... Oh, it's the Hollywood vision. Also, like many fact, scientists well, wait, all around fact, the world. Uh, the, the EPA says we have more clean air days in most of the cities in the U.S. than we did 20 years ago. So th this is all a myth, and the real purpose oh. of it is to control... People like you, know, you are going to make us all die. I think yeah. we're uh, you know, wait, wait a second. We have, wait, listen second. to her Bill, for one second. Think, she knows think, more about this than I. Wait, yes. do you think you're going to die because of me? You really have some problems. Do you think I'm going to make you die? <laughs> yes, I do. I do. You think I'm going to make you Just die? Just because the air was cleaner than it is 20 years ago doesn't mean that it's clean enough. When we live in a city well, where there's smog alerts regularly, it's, that's it not be, clean it enough. It should be cleaner. The question is, are we running out of resources? Every yes. year they seem to find more and more oil, more and more natural gas. Oil is they're, what is making the air well, kill us. Well, well, then what? Well, then Bill, what? Well, not enough. Well, Even though they're finding more like oil. Weeks. Have you well, seen then, those pictures from Asia? Me. Then, Bill, what, what is the resource we're running out of? We're running out of all resources well, because what? there's too much. I'd say rainforest, wood. Wait, wait a second. There, yes. Wait a minute. That's not yeah. true. There is more harvestable wood in this country and in most of the world well, you, than there was 30 years ago. Wait, wait, hold on. Like just because it's... Remember Reagan said that well, pollution well, comes from trees? Wait a trees? second. Wait yeah, a second. Right. Wait a second. Too wait long. a second. Just Why because do you it's wood doesn't wait, mean it's hard. Wait a second. Level. Wait a second. The fact that Reagan said it doesn't mean it was wrong. Oh, well. I mean, Reagan <laughs> said a hell of a lot more things were right than were wrong. But listen. Um, Reagan was hardly a loser as a president. No, but Reagan said some silly things. And Nixon was a loser and you worked for him. And I think you think if you say things over and over again, it'll come true. So the idea is... So, wait a second. So, Doris, Doris, Doris. So the idea is, because I work for Nixon, the fact that all the statistics that show we have more harvestable timber, more oil, more coal, no. more gas, then they're all wrong because I work but for you're Nixon. But you just citing and the, and statistics. And then he, he's the other and he thinks like I'm going to kill him. He's changing the subject. So we, he's worse so than we, a we politician. A paranoid <laughs> era, ben, aura here. Can I say something about wood? Just because it exists doesn't mean it's harvestable. Otherwise, your your son isn't going to have any woods to play in if we if cut down all if, the wood. I, I agree. There has to be some some management of the forest. But the idea that we're running out of it is just not true. But you're there mentioning awful, all awful the forest. things yes. that are ruining the environment. We have more oil. We have more wood. We have more coal. Then Great. what we are have we running out of? It, we're running out the of... The things we need to live well, for. Can I say that? We're, we're running out of space. <laughs> 
<laughs> Those things are the things that wreck the air. Wait a second. Wait a second. Coal wrecks the air. Wait a second. Oil then wrecks what the air. What are we running out of? You air, air. water. No, food. If we have so much oil, why do we go to war over it? Wait yeah. Why? Why would we? The question wasn't whether or not there was any. It was who controlled it. I don't question well, it would be bad so much oil being if Sodom. Who's, who's, who's I don't question it would be bad if Sodom had control of it. But there is an awful lot of it. And the idea that we're running out of air. Wait, no, wait, I mean, do you seriously think wait you're going to run out of air? I do. I think there's a hole in the ozone layer. I think there's global warming. I think the ice caps are melting. And when I die, I'm blaming you. We have to take it. <laughs> Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher, brought to you by GM Goodwrench Service. Talking about the environment, let's stop, because you know what, you never change anybody's mind about that. But what I was getting at was that human rights and population control, and I applaud China for this one thing, that they have been able so to I. stop population, I because awesome. that is the greatest threat. You know, well, it's what, awesome. You know what's impossible? Wait. wait. It's imp you got to feel some awesomeness for this country that was able to instill something in billions of people that were willing to stop having sex or at least stop having a kid right. and produce I fewer. Yeah, I hope sex. not. I hope not. Right. <laughs> but nonetheless, we couldn't do that in this country. Wait, I think it's say. almost impossible to imagine you could put such an edict on us. Well, Look, if Joe Kennedy, old Joe Kennedy, had been told he only had one kid, we would never have President Kennedy, <laughs> Teddy Kennedy, Bobby Kennedy. Well, Maybe we would have been better off. We're also a different country. country. We're, we're a different they, they, country. They came from a yeah, communist. They came from a communist yes. background so where the, so, the greater good was, you know, well, the social good is greater than the individual good. There's got to be some wait a second. But but middle you're ground. You're saying you applaud them for interfering in the most basic decisions of human beings? For the greater and we, yes. good of the and country. The greater good, they no, avoided that's, a that's salmon. That's nonsense. That's just, that is nonsense. That is nonsense. They avoided a salmon. That's nonsense. That is you're, exactly. you're talking about repressing the most basic love instinct between no, human beings to serve the state. You're no. talking about the most overwhelming no. state control of human life. That's Look, we don't have state control of that in the U.S., and we're extremely well-fed, me in particular. Why, why, is it, why is it that the countries that don't have population control seem to eat much better than the ones that do? Well, Are you crazy? Do you no, mean? I'm not crazy. The no, Western European countries... Like India, they eat the really Western well. European they countries pick bits of undigested India, matter India out of cow dung. That's really more, eating well. India, no, no, no. India is a vastly more prosperous country than China. Are you well, out of your mind? You know, it's growing China also has too. a lot more people in it than India. China Tim, is your name is Curry. What do you think about India? About India? <laughs> well, you know, it's good to be a national dish. Um, I, I, it does seem to me that people are starving in India. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I, I, India you know, is, if India Mother is Teresa in... would be out of a job if they were all eating well, so well, well in Well, people uh, are Bombay. starving in many countries, but the free societies are better fed than the repressed societies. The countries that repress people, repress the market, repress people's individuality. But what is so the, bottom, the, way, the bottom line is, is that China was faced with a very unique problem. Yes. Its population was so huge, they realized they wouldn't be able to feed it. They yes. had to do something quickly. They put out an edict in the late 70s that said if you, it, that you could only have one child. If you had more than one, you would, you'd, you'd have not free schooling for that child, not free med medical care, etc. They that, killed them. No, no, the they government did not they, kill them. It of was, course they no, 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 no. It was they, the, it's the it's social extreme, structure no, it's of China, China well, which is the patriarchy. No, it's extremely, killed, well, do, no, it's extremely no. well documented that what, they killed them. And not only that, not only that, they can just they they run they, over and keep they, talking. They faced a. Can you please shut him up? I will. Because what really hurts is that Mr. Nixon's speech writer was out argued by a chick from Baywatch. All right, first of all, uh, Ben, I apologize. I, that was a cheap shot, and I went to commercial. That's the cheapest thing a talk show host can do, is get his shot in and go to commercial. But I had to, or else they would have taken me off the air. But I was... Well, I, I just want to say this one thing. Yes, it's sir. very interesting that the free societies don't have famines, the countries that have central planning in agriculture and repression do have famines. The problem in China wasn't excess India? population. The, 
There haven't been giant famines oh, in India. Oh, come on. Oh, there haven't been giant famines. No, there haven't been, Doris. I don't know. It that kind of surprises me that you're a historian. I'm kind of surprised. When Lyndon Johnson was president, he had to send food to India well, because they were in the middle of a huge famine. famine. Then there wasn't a famine. Oh, because he helped society, the famine. And they bought it from us. And they bought it from us. The problem in China wasn't excess population. It's central planning. It doesn't let them grow enough food. There's enough food grown in Australia, a country of about 20 they million have 1 to food China. They 1.2 billion people. And you're saying the I'm problem saying is Australia still the Democrats. Australia produced enough wheat to food that Basically, that's no, the right. Democrats. Liberal, the, the 60s, Congress. didn't the 1960s cause the problem? No, the liberals, no, the Democrats. No, I like the 60s. The oh, problem, no, you're I not like so bad. Let's talk about well, it. Well, it's true that the, the government causes mismanagement of food, well, and et cetera, no, et cetera. No, but no, the, no, the no, bottom line is 1.2 billion people, each be, of them having two look, or the, three the babies. The state of the Nebraska by themselves could feed that country. Nebraska's great because it's not overpopulated. That's why that's a great state. But they have freedom. Have you been on the freeway today? It's interesting. They don't. This place sucks because there's too many people. But that's not, that's not population control in Nebraska. It's interesting that you don't see the basic virtue of the free society. Well, is it, we, I don't think we're arguing that. I mean, we, no. we, we appreciate well, being in a free country. We're applauding the repression of people in terms we're, of how many children they you know what? What she said is right before. It would be great if they didn't have to do this. And it, hopefully they in the next generation, wait a minute, in the next generation, maybe they won't have to. And that's what China's working to. They had a terrible problem. They had to do something about it. There were not enough resources in their country to feed their people adequately, to have a decent li living standard. So they decided we'll have fewer kids and share that's more. You know, there no, was you a just say something is wrong. China has the, one of the biggest reserves of dollars of any country in the world. You know all this secret information. We should put you on another planet. It's not just about money. Doris, it's not a secret. Doris, it's not a secret. It's an What is so bad about a society saying... Why can't they just buy the wheat and allow, with all the money they make, selling us low-cost electronics and let the people have a free choice? it's not about money. A population of 1.2 billion just... Hopefully, hopefully, maybe not. A population of 1.2 billion growing only one percent is adding a hundred million people a year right if you just if that population that's ten percent at one all right what is it it's 12 million don't 12 million you. don't let him get to you keep going i don't know i can't do math on me but the bottom line is right. five. <laughs> 1.2 well, billion. Wait, there have been an awful lot of bottom lines. How many bottom lines are we going to There's about a the, lot of bottom lines in this situation. Why is it so bad for a society to say, hey, can't we sacrifice a little? Aren't we the most because over... Because you're talking we about can't sacrificing get people human to, life. But human you, life they're allowed one child. Why is it, why, how come it's selfish to smoke in a restaurant, but you can have 15 kids? Doesn't the quality of life because, matter? Because, because one is about one is about hurting other people's life, and the other other is about a basic decision. Fifteen of kids isn't hurting family. my life. No, it, it isn't. Down hurting the life road, at all. it really how many, how is. It isn't hurting. Oh, please. I have one. I wish I had fifteen. <laughs> oh. Well. You knew that fifteen wouldn't be good for anybody. For what? Well, how many? So, do you, think, so ben, do you think it's unlimited the amount of children this planet can support? Do you think it's no, unlimited? We're nowhere near the limit. I so when we get to the we limit, reach it. we're yeah. nowhere near the, the limit. Population I mean, the population has doubled in the, my life. What lifetime? is the limit? And people are better fed than ever. Okay, you tell me yeah, what the, the limit is. Yeah, the rich people are better six, fed. Every, no, we have six billion people. How, what's the limit? I don't know. I you don't, don't know. know. I don't know, but I know but that the we'll more people there are... We'll know when we get there, because we'll be dead. That, you know no, what? The, I, the, the limit has been are. reached. No, the more people there are, people are better and better fed. I mean, it is a... It's no, funny you that this... say that because... It you're, is a in, you're in America. You're, yeah, you're, 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 you're not in Calcutta. You're not in Rio de Janeiro. You're not in these cities. People are eating better, generally speaking, around the world, but especially you know, also, it's in not Asia. Only about eating. Better around the especially world. in Asia. But you know, it's not only about eating. It's also quality of life. I mean, we all know well, that. That's when a very, well, how about quality of life? How about the state coming in and saying you can't have children? If you do, we're going to take them away from you and let them die of exposure. That is not the truth. That's, that's quality not of the life, truth. isn't it? That is not what happened in well, China. You are exaggerating. But were the Chinese always very pragmatic about 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 their birth rate anyway. I mean, when you said about it being a patriarchy, I mean, they were abandoning girl children on, on mountains long before yeah. this edict. Um, well, we don't consider that's that the a only good way thing. I'll agree no, with you. It wouldn't have been fun being thing. a girl kid in this last generation because well, nobody wanted a girl. Yeah, the most no. anti-woman state in history. I, I mean, it amazes me that it gets so much applause. It isn't getting applause. It's people that are upset with you just having this enormous ability to say things as if they were necessarily <laughs> true. Well, I, I, <laughs> well,
Because the things I'm saying are extremely well known. You could find them in the statistical abstract and they That's reported them. You know, I, I was once considered I mean, an historian. I'm supposed uh, to know a few a, things. I don't think you're a historian of China. I, think I, I don't think you're a historian. I don't think you're a historian of China or of agriculture. Are you? You're an eminent historian. Well, I know a lot about of facts. I read facts and statistics. <laughs> Doris, Doris, wait a second. An ad hominem attack on me because I work for Nixon is a joke. There are facts out there. It shocks me that you don't argue from the facts. It is shocking indeed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have to take a break. <laughs> overwhelming state control of human life. That's Look, we don't have state control of that in the U.S., and we're extremely well-fed, me in particular. Why, why, is it, why is it that the countries that don't have population control seem to eat much better than the ones that do? Well, Are you crazy? Do you no, mean? I'm not crazy. The They're Western European... Well, like in India, they the eat really well. European they countries pick bits of undigested India, matter India out of cow dung. That's really more, eating well. India, no, no, no. India is a vastly more prosperous country than China. Are you out of your mind? You know, it's growing China also has too. a lot more people in it than India. China Tim, is your name is Curry. What do you think about India? About India? Well, you know, it's good to be a national dish. Um, I, I, it does seem to me that people are starving in India. Yeah, right. Mother Teresa would be out of a job if they were all eating well, so well. Well, in, people uh, are Bombay. starving in many countries, but the free societies are better fed than the repressed societies. The countries that repress people, repress the market, repress people's individuality. But what is so the, 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 the bottom line is, is that China was faced with a very unique problem. Yes. Its population was so huge, they realized they wouldn't be able to feed it. They yes. had to do something quickly. They put out an edict in the late 70s that said if you, it, that you could only have one child. If you had more than one, you would, you'd, you'd have not free schooling for that child, not free med medical they care, etc. They that, killed them. No, no, they the government did not they, kill them. It of was, course they no, no, killed no, no, no. them. It was they, the, it's the it's social extreme, structure no, of China, which is well, a patriarchy. No, it's extremely, well, no, it's extremely no. well documented that what, they killed them. And not only that, not only that, they just run over and keep talking. They faced a Can you please shut him up? I will. All righty, welcome to the show. Let us read our panel. He is a law professor, Nixon speechwriter, and game show host. From Win Ben Stein's Money, Ben Stein is here. Ben Stein, how are you? She is a Pulitzer Prize winning historian, and her new book is Wait Till Next Year, a memoir of Doris Kearns Goodwin. Hello, young lady. Great pleasure to meet you. She starred on Baywatch and just completed Hawaii's Iron Man triathlon in real life. Alexandra Paul, yeah. Good to see you again. Thank you for coming. And star of stage, screen, and Rocky Horror Picture Show. His new series is over the top right here on ABC. Tim Curry. Uh, How are you? All right. Well, um, now the big story, as I mentioned uh, in the monologue, is China. And as we speak, the two remaining leaders of the superpowers are meeting in Washington. Uh, one is representing China, the other is uh, Zheng Jimin. I'm kidding, of course, because <laughs> <laughs> Bill, Clinton <laughs> Bill Clinton represents many Asian countries. But um, China is mostly criticized for their human rights policies, but. One thing they have done consistently over the last 20 years is limit population control very strictly. Since the late 70s, as you know, uh, it has been the law in China, an enforced law, you can only have one child. And the same people who complain about human rights problems are, this, are the ones who say, well, the planet is running out of resources, and it is. That's and not true. I mean, that, that's, that's just a it's myth. It's not true the planet that, is running yeah, out of resources? That's not true. I mean, it's been, it's been being said for hundreds of years that we're about to run out of resources. More keep being discovered. There's now a greater supply of oil than there was thought to be 30, 40, 50 years ago. What about right? air? No, there's no, there's no, are, are you kidding? Do you really think? I'm not kidding. There's really a hole there in the ozone. Really, I can't believe you're saying really that there's not enough resources. Wait a second. Do you really you think there is a scientific consensus that we're running out of air, Bill? No, well, clean air. Clean, clean air. air. Yeah, right. We're running out of clean air. 
Clean air. Well, that, well, that, that, well, that is a, I, I agree that that is the Hollywood politically correct vision. The but Hollywood fact, vision. But in fact... Oh, it's the Hollywood vision. Also, like, many fact, scientists well, is, all around fact, the world. Uh, uh, the, uh, the EPA says we have more clean air days in most of the cities in the U.S. than we did 20 years ago. So th this is all a myth, and the real purpose of oh. it is to control... People like you, know you know are going to make us all die. I think yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, wait, wait a second. Do you, wait, listen second. to her for one second. Do you know more about this than I Wait, do you think you're going to die because of me? You really have some problems. Do you think I'm going to make you die? <laughs> yes, I do. Power. I do. You think I'm going to make you Just die? Just because the air is cleaner than it is 20 years ago doesn't mean that it's clean enough. When we live in a city well, where there's smog alerts regularly, that's not be, clean enough. It should enough. be cleaner. The question is, are we running out of resources? Every yes. year they seem to find more and more oil, more and more natural gas. Oil is what is making the air well, kill us. Well, then what? Well, then, Bill, what? It's not enough. Well, Even though they're finding like more oil. Weeks. Have you well, seen those pictures from Asia? Then, Bill, what, what is the resource we're running out of? We're running out of all resources well, because what? there's too much. I'd say rainforest, wood. Wait, wait a second. There, yes. Wait a minute. That's not yes. true. There is more harvestable wood in this country and in most of the world well, you, than there was 30 years ago. Hold on, like just because it's... Remember Reagan that's, said that well, pollution well, comes from trees? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Just because it's think, wood doesn't wait, mean it's hard Wait a second, wait a second. The fact that Reagan said it doesn't mean it was wrong. Oh, well, I mean, Reagan <laughs> said a hell of a lot of things were right and were wrong. Well, listen, Reagan um, was God, hardly a loser as a president. No, no. but Reagan said some silly but things. And Nixon was a loser and you worked for him. And I think you think if you say things over and over again, it'll come true. So the idea is... Wait a second, so Doris, Doris, wait a second. So the idea is, because I worked for Nixon, the fact that all the statistics that show we have more harvestable timber, more oil, more coal, no. more gas, then they're all wrong mm -hmm. because I worked but for you're Nixon. Just and the, and then, yeah. he could cite other ones. And he thinks he's like I'm going to kill him. He's changing the subject. So we're, so we, we have a session. <laughs> paranoid just, era, ben, aura here. Can I say something about wood? Just because it exists doesn't mean it's harvestable. Otherwise, your your son isn't going to have any woods to play in if we if cut point, down all if, the wood. I, I agree. There has to be some some management of the forest. But the idea that we're running out of it is just not true. But you're there mentioning all the things yes. that are ruining the environment. We have more oil. We have more wood. We have more coal. Then Great. what we are have we running out of? It, we're running out the of... The things we need to live. Well, well, can I say that we're well, running out of space? <laughs> Those things are the things that wreck the air. Wait a second. Wait a second. Coal wrecks the air. Wait oil wrecks what the air. What are we running out of? You air, air water, no, food. If we have so much oil, why do we go to war over it? Wait yeah. Why? Why are we fighting? The question wasn't whether or not there was any. It was who controlled it. I don't question well, it would be bad so much oil being if Sodom. Who's, who's, who's I don't question it would be it. bad if Sodom had control of it, but there is an awful lot of it. And the idea that we're running out of air. Well, no, wait, don't I you mean, do you seriously think wait you're going to run out of air? I do. I think there's a hole in the ozone layer. I think there's global warming. I think the ice caps are melting. And when I die, I'm blaming you. We have to take a break. <laughs> Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher, brought to you by GM Goodwrench Service. Talking about the environment, let's stop, because you know what, you never change anybody's mind about that. But what I was getting at was that human rights and population control, and I applaud China for this one thing, that they have been able so to I. stop population, fact, because awesome. that is the greatest threat. You know, well, it's awesome. You know what's impossible? Wait. wait. It's you got to feel some awesomeness for this country that was able to instill something in billions of people that were willing to stop having sex or at least stop having a kid right. and produce I fewer. Yeah, I hope sex. not. I hope not. <laughs> right. But nonetheless, we couldn't do that in this country. Wait, I think it's say. almost impossible to imagine you could put such an edict on us. Well, Look, if Joe Kennedy, old Joe Kennedy, had been told he only had one kid, we would never had President Kennedy, <laughs> Teddy Kennedy, Bobby Kennedy. Well, Maybe we would have been better off. Also, we might have country. We are a country. They came from a communist. They came from a communist yes. background it where the, so, the greater good was, you know, well, the social good is greater than the individual. But there's got to be some second. But, middle Bill, ground. You're, you're saying you applaud them for interfering in the most basic decisions of human beings? For the greater good of the country. No, that's nonsense. That is nonsense. They avoided a famine. That's nonsense. That is exactly You're talking about repressing the most basic love instinct between no, human beings to serve the state. You're no. talking about the most... Oh, no, 